What's up YouTube, this is Geekstradimus. Yesterday, Yashtach Films released their latest trailer of uh, Detective Bhumkesh Bakshi. Uh, it often happens uh, in, um, in the Hollywood side of things that whenever a new movie comes out, they do a trailer review to just get the people acquainted about the movie. So I'm planning to do the same thing with uh, Detective Bhumkesh Bakshi. For those of you who don't know, Bhumkesh Bakshi is a famous uh, Bengali novel character created by Sharadendu Bandhopadhyay. So he is uh, somewhat like a Sherlock Holmes but from India. And his stories basically involve uh, solving mysteries and much like, much like uh, Sherlock Holmes, he's crazy about uh, figuring out what, the, uh, figuring out how a particular crime happened and getting justice basically. He doesn't call himself himself a detective, but calls himself uh, calls himself a uh, satya anveshi, which basically basically means a seeker of truth. Now, as for this movie, this movie is created by Dibakar Banerjee, famous for movies like Oi Lucky Lucky Oi and uh, Ghosla Ka Ghosla. He got national award for both the movies, and that's one of the reasons that I'm really looking forward to this movie. So, what happened was uh, when uh, Dibakar Banerjee completed uh, Ghost Laga Ghost. Like he really wanted to do a movie on this topic. He approached Amir Khan to play a villain in this movie but uh, things didn't fall into place and he went on to uh, be cast as a villain in Doom 3 and everybody knows how that ended. So but then he went on and contacted Sushant Singh Rajput who ended up playing Byomkesh Pakshi. Other than Sushant Singh Rajput, we have uh, Anand Tiwari. Uh, in this movie, he plays his sidekick uh, Ajit uh, Banerjee. And then we have Swastika Mukherjee, who is playing an important role. Other than that, we also have Miang Chang of uh, Indian Idol fame. So as for the movie, uh, I'm really looking forward to it because of the whole... Uh, I, I, found, I saw the teaser back in end of December and then the first trailer that came out on, on January 21st. The trailer looks really intriguing. The it has this typical thriller look that is usually not common in as far as the uh, Bollywood movies are concerned. And the way the character is being portrayed by Sushant Singh Rajput looks really good. He has got this whole unibro thing going, and they have given this whole Kolkata look from the early 1940s to the movie, which also looks quite looks quite authentic. As for the trailer, it starts with. Uh, Ajit Banerjee introducing himself to Byomkesh Pakshi in uh, India Coffee House. So he just tells him that uh, I'm Ajit Banerjee and uh, just introduces himself and just about when Byomkesh Bakshi, Bakshi is about to say his name and tells his name, uh, Ajit Banerjee says, yeah, everybody knows you. So I guess what's established here is uh, Byomkesh Bakshi is already a known, known name in uh, Kolkata. So yes, I guess that's some, that should be somewhere where the movie starts. Then we see a background narration, a background dialogue where a person tells somebody that uh, his father is missing. And I'm not sure who's talking to who because it's basically a, a dialogue in the background. In this scene we have Byomkish Bakshi telling somebody that there has been a murder, there has been a murder and he's really excited about it. So probably he is crazy about solving uh, such crimes. And he gets really excited when he knows of such a crime has happened and he has something to look forward to. In the very next scene, Ajit suggests that what if it's just that uh, uh, the father has just gone away somewhere just like that and Byom Kish Bakshi says, uh, in today's world, nothing happens just like that. So he's probably really involved into this mystery. Before going ahead, I'd like to tell you that uh, this movie is based on... Uh, Two of Byomkesh Bakshi's very first novel, novel first was Satyan Veshi, that was like an introduction to uh, Byomkesh Bakshi, and second, I guess its name was Puthe Kanta. So these are two of the episodes that I've already seen because back in '93, Doordarshan used to have uh, Byomkesh Bakshi episodes that used to uh, be telecasted, and Rajat Kapoor played Byomkesh Bakshi. So that's the first time that I actually got to know who Byomkesh Bakshi was. So the first two episodes were basically, Satyan Vishi was uh, about a person who was basically a drug peddler and he used to kill off people once he uses them to send his drug across the city. And the second one was basically about a contract killer who used to kill people off uh, 
using a very advanced mechanism in which his uh, bicycle had a, a, horn, a kind of a, a ringer and when you just to ring it, it used to throw out a gramophone needle which used to hit the people in their heart and kill them off. So I have heard that these are the two novels on which this uh, movie is based. So in the very next scene in the trailer what we see is uh, Miang Chang tells Byomkesh Bakshi that he's a drug peddler. So I guess there is heavily the drug peddler angle going on in this uh, upcoming movie. And this is when Byomkesh Bakshi starts getting really involved with the whole story. And then uh, we see that this is time when, uh, this is supposed to be early 1940s, so at this time Kolkata was a uh, port city. So there were many people, the so smuggling and stuff was majorly, uh, this, this was a crime, uh, high in crime city. Because it was a port city so there was a lot of smuggling going on, drug peddling and stuff and there were, it's known that at that time Kolkata had a lot of Japanese as well as Chinese spies. So we do see a heavy uh, presence of uh, Chinese and Japanese actors in this movie. The very next scene we see a guy telling Byomkesh Bakshi, whether, uh, asking him whether he has heard of Green Gang which is supposedly this huge uh, gang which is into smuggling and drug peddling. And he goes on to say that about three years back, a guy named Yang Huan was uh, killed off by the very uh, same green gang that he was referring to. And now he has come back from dead and seeking revenge. I guess this is where the plot gets really interesting. This point onwards, they show how this guy, Yang Huan, supposedly, is uh, going around and killing off people from uh, green gang. And he claims that he has come back in order to claim back Kolkata. At this point, there are many plot twists. I believe there, there would be many plot twists involved because uh, Bhyom Bakshi goes about asking people that uh, does he know about, do, do the people know about Green Gang? Does he even know what Kolkata is going through right now? He approaches cops and further tells them that they're supposed to protect Kolkata. And then the story goes on. Then we, sh we see a few more shots of uh, murders and killings happening. And in the end, we have Bhyom Bakshi saying that none of you have clue what's going on. So that's where it start, That's where it ends with uh, Yomkesh Bakshi giving off this really menacing laugh. Now if well, this could be the scene where he has actually found out what's going on and he's just making fun of the people who don't know and he's about to tell what exactly happened. Then in between there were some uh, screenshots in which they said that uh, there's one guy who's out to destroy Calcutta and there's just one man who can save it and that's basically Pyom Kesh Bakshi. The tagline of the movie is expect the unexpected. So that's exactly what, what that's the frame of mind that I'm going to watch this movie with. This movie is releasing on April 3rd. Hopefully it uh, releases around here in US. So, so I can actually catch it in theaters. That would be awesome. And what I would really want is, India has been trying a lot to actually get this uh, super Asian detective kind of stuff movies going. There was Agent Vinod, then there was Ekta Tiger, then there was Kick. I hope this one ends up being a good one because I expect this because it's the Bakar Banerjee movie and we can expect more sequels to this movie. So that's something that this is one of the movies that I'm really looking forward to. One of the major reasons is Sushant Singh Rajput is a real good actor. I've seen him in a couple of movies before, Should the Desi Romance and uh, Kai Poche and the whole characterization of Yomkesh Bakshi, I really like it. He has got this unibrow thing, really uh, like well oiled hair and wearing kurta and stuff. So that looks really good. The whole Kolkata feel given to the movie also looks, looks really good. And they're trying to give this whole thriller feel to the movie. The, at least the trailers suggest that. So I really hope the movie lives up to the expectation and doesn't go on to become another flop. That's not expected, but well, the movie says expect the unexpected. So I, that's not the line I want the movie to go to. But I hope you like this trailer review. This is the first time I'm attempting to do something like this. I've often seen um, Hollywood movies doing the same, like they do this for Age of Ultron, they've done this for Ant-Man. I thought a movie like uh, Detective Yomkesh Bakshi, which is a thriller, and I guess it caters to the new generation audience, as well as the old, because Yomkesh Bakshi is a... Uh, it's like an icon back in, Bang in Bengal and in India. So I hope this movie lives up to the expectation and is as awesome as the trailer suggests.
At the end of it all, here's a question for you guys. How did you like the Byomkesh Bakshi trailer? Do you think Sushant Singh Rajput was the right choice playing Byomkesh Bakshi? And what about Deepaka Banerjee? Do you think that he would be able to do justice to the ever so famous Byomkesh Bakshi? Do drop in your comments and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I hope you like this video and this trailer review. There's something new, so do drop a comment and tell me if you'd like to see more such reviews of uh, Indian movies, Indian movie trailers. I will surely be doing a review of this movie once it releases. So as for now, Geekstratomus signing off. Go Geek!